So how do you do guys? Welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards TV. As you know, JSON is actually the most popular data interchange format given that it's light to it. It's also easy to read. So in this particular class, we're going to see how to work, how to actually turn a Python dict or a dictionary into JSON format. Okay, so it's a very simple class right here. As you know, this is Flask tutorial. So in fact, we're going to come right here first. We're going to have import several packages or modules of course into a project the most important ones are the flask of course the j and then these are the two right here okay now for the render template you can actually omit it out given that if you don't actually want to use a template now first and foremost having done that one by there you can see we only have one particular index.py just this single file in our project so we come First, we're going to instantiate our flask right here. Okay, up equal to flask. Okay, so this is our flask constructor. We're passing in this particular name now. This is a special variable. Of course, it is a special variable in, uh, in of course, Python. So basically, it implies to the current namespace. Okay, the namespace under which the Python interpreter is at the moment. So in this particular case, the module that we're using it right here which is this our main module that is of course what this is going to refer to the name so we pass it of course to a flask instance having done that one then we're going to have a route right here as you can see we're going to be listening to the request to the home page okay or the root url so we come we decorate our index function so basically this is our router right here so we're taking we listen to the home page uh, to the root page if you navigate over to the root page then this particular index function will get executed and what do we do in this index function well first and foremost we're going to create this galaxies which is a dict or a python dictionary and then we come of course dictionary comprises of keys and values so you can see these are key a string and then the value right here of course you can proceed over add more values key value pairs as you can see and in fact add as many as you want okay so these of course are our data we basically have keys uh key value pairs in our dictionary this is what we want to turn of course into json format so to do that one we'll use a try catch block first and foremost we're going to initialize an empty list python list that we call the galaxy list so having done that one then we're going to come and then loop through the name and description in our galaxies.items galaxies are dict so the items right here will give us of course the key value pairs now the name is the key while the description is the value so for each is each iteration we're going to append data to a list basically you can see we're appending a json object galaxies list dot append the name and description we append them in a json object so basically of course having done that one then we're going to invoke the dumps method json dumps we pass in the galaxies list okay that is going to dump of course our galaxies list right here of course and then we jsonify it right here using this jsonify function okay in fact that's what we return now if you have an exception we're going to come right here and then return it also okay we jsonify it and return it so it's a very basic tutorial we we'll now come and check if our current namespace equal to main then this is what we do we run the app up the run debug equal to true okay we're running it in the debug mode so it's a very very simple tutorial right here all we need to do this one we don't need it so just delete it then save then click run to run the project i'm using visual studio code right here it in fact allows me to run my python so we come right here and you can see we have perfectly our json right here okay this is of course valid json data you can see we have it it can actually be accessed from um clans okay so this is it right here so this is it guys this is what we looked at like this video share it and make sure you guys subscribe to our channel programming users tv and take care i'll catch you in the next class